What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing another Bass Pro Shops most expensive lure. It is getting to be that time of year again. It's getting to be that warmer time of year. So we are gonna be doing Bass Pro Shops most expensive Sanko. Now, I think Gary Yamamoto is gonna be the most expensive, but as always, we're gonna look around, see what our options are, see if we can't find the most expensive Sanko. I hope it's not too much. I mean, it shouldn't be as bad as those $25 Mega Bass jerkbaits, but we're gonna look around and see what we can find. Uh, we got some KVD Sanko. It looks like from Strike King. $3.99. Since when does the man make Sankos? I bet you they never rip. Man, that might be a fun one to try for $5 to get a Sanko that's never gonna break. I saw the Gary Automoto over here. It was $9 at Bass Pro Shops. $9 for a 10 pack of Sankos. These are the big packs, so these aren't gonna really count because there's just a lot more in the pack and that's why it's $9, but I mean. I think the Gary Automoto is gonna be the most expensive here. I'm gonna keep looking around and see if I can't find something different. Ooh, that's getting pretty close though. I mean, it's still a few dollars away. I mean, look at all these more affordable options other than Gary Automoto. I mean, look at that. It's three dollars for just as many. But I think we are gonna go with Gary Automoto. Now it is time to pick a color. We are going to get the green pumpkin Gary Automoto Sanko. This is the most expensive Sanko that we can find at Bass Pro Shops. The reason why I'm getting green pumpkin is just in case we have to switch ponds or depending on which pond I go to this color will pretty much work in any condition at all so that is why I picked a little fun fact that is why I picked green pumpkin right there so we're about to go check out and head down to the pond see if we can't catch a couple it is actually the next day we got the Sankos in my pocket we're out here with Luke he's got his tied on I got mine tied on and we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple bass out of this pond I have not fished this pond in a while so hopefully we can get a couple out of here Oh, I got one. Dude, I didn't even know I had one. Darn it. I literally did not feel a thing. Sanko's like already ripped. I can't believe I missed one already. Got him. Oh, get him. There you go. Got one on the Sanko. Oh, and then you got my Sanko too. Maybe that's the bass that I missed right there. Could have been actually. Boom, there you go. First fish of the day. Man, that it's fish is so bite. skinny. Look, I know, I didn't even feel the other bite. Look how, show how skinny he is once. That fish is so skinny. All right, let's get him back. Man, I'm kind of stuck in the tree here. Get him back. Boom. First fish of the day on the Senko. We're on day two of this video. There you go. Luke's got one. Already on the fluke. That's his second fish already. It's probably going to be the average size, unfortunately, but we should be able to catch a bunch of them that size. There we go. Got one on the Senko. Boom. Get up here. Bang. On the Senko, like pretty much right away. We've already caught three fish and we've been here for, how long have I been recording for? I've been recording for two minutes, guys. We've caught three fish in about three minutes. So this should turn out to be a fairly good day. Gary Automoto Senko got crushed. Let's get him back. Boop, there he goes. Luke's already got another one. I can't even fix my Senko and he catches another one. That's actually a bigger one for here. Let me see that one. No, it's not. Yeah, oh wait, no, I couldn't see it. It looked a little bit bigger. Get him back. Boom, there he goes. We're gonna keep fishing the bank with this Senko here. What should be our number? I think we should try to catch like 10 today. Uh, we're already at like That's four. We're already at four, so let's try to catch 10. Oh, geez, I was literally just about to stop the recording and I get one. <laughs> get up here. Ah, oh, man, I love this pond so much. Boop. Where, where's your line at? Man, this guy's a chunk. Holy yeah, that's crap. a bigger That's Th a bigger one. <laughs> this is a bigger one here. Nailed the Senko. Pretty much all one tank. <laughs> oh, now this is a little bit bigger bass right here. They're all pretty much males, but there's so many of them in this pond. There is actually too many of them in this pond. It's starting to rain just a little bit too hard, so I'm going to have to put this away. We're fishing the flukes while we got the camera taken off, saving the Senkos, and we got a little double up on the fluke action. Boom, there we go. It's still raining a little too hard for the GoPro, but we're gonna try to catch a couple more on the flukes. We got a board mission. For some reason, there's golfers fish, er, there's golfers golfing in this rain. So we're about to just head to a new pond now. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to abandon the golf course. Man, I didn't know golfers golf in this kind of stuff. Honestly, I didn't even know that they allowed the golfers to come out when it's when the turf is just soaking wet. Cause it's not, it's not good for the turf, but I mean, we're about to head to a new pond, continue fishing with the Sankos and see if we can't catch another one. We made it to the next pond and she's a little high, a little muddy. Hopefully we can get one on the Sanko here. Now they should be a lot bigger than they were at that other pond here. Let's see what we can do here. 
Got one. Nice. There we go. Ah, first cast of this pond. Oh, there goes the Sanko. Boom, get up here. There we go. Luke just missed one too. Biggest fish of the day for me. This might be my first fish out of this pond for the year as well. Could have been a little bit bigger, but hey, I'm not complaining. Look at this little bass right here. We'll get him back. Boom, head first. There's, what you guys can't see is right there, there is a whole bunch of weeds that are just submerged right now because the water's really high, but we're about to take a cast back. We're about to take a cast back in that cove. See if we can't catch one back there. Oh, I got one. There we go. Wow. Get up here. Hey, really? Oh, dude, this is a nicer yeah, one. A nice one. There we go. Dude, they hit the sink way better. Boom. Get up here. Boom. Oh, yeah. Dude, he choked it. All right. Here we go with the release on this. That's yeah. probably about a little, almost a pounder. He's a little tiny guy, but just throwing back there. Oh, no. My finger was right over the mic. I hope you guys could hear me, but we'll get him back. There he goes. Took off right under the dock. Just pit, flipping my Senko all the way up as far as I can get back there, and I've pretty much caught one every time I've done it so far. Oh, crap, dude. I can't set the hook here. I just missed another one. Yeah, look at the boil. I literally just missed another one. Oh, I can't set the hook on this dock. I don't know if you could hear him back there, but uh, some dude just gave me and Luke a lecture, kind of like yelling at us because we were using hooks with barbs on them. <laughs> He's like, oh, if you guys are doing catch and release, you need to be fishing with barbless hooks. I can't say that's ever happened before. Holy crap. <laughs> Look down. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing, guys. Oh, my gosh. That thing got big. We were snorkeling with that thing at one point. Look at this. Guys, I hope you guys can see that. I don't think you can, though. There is, like, how, how many pounds do you think that is? He's like, like 30, 40. Pounds. Yeah, he, he's pretty close. Yeah, about a 40 pound snapping turtle down, right there. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the thing was huge. Did you not catch one? No, I, I missed one. Oh! Yeah, I landed on right on top of a carp. I spooked him a little bit. You got one? Oh, there you go on the fluke. It's a little farther offshore. That's a nicer one. Yeah. It actually, is a nicer one. Oh, Luke's got so, one. Like that's one that's the, I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one of the day right there. Yeah, like one and a half. Guys, look at the body on that fish, and look at how tiny the mouth is. Like, that's like a small mouth bass. Yeah, mouth. I know. The mouths in here are so tiny, and they just get really, really that's fat. That's why we lose so many. Yeah, get them back. Boom, there we go. These bass in here are bass like I've never seen them before. They, all, they look just like footballs. Ooh! Oh, oh, dude, you still got him. He, oh. I literally saw him spin it. If you would have kept tension on that, you would have caught that I fish. I tension on it. No, you didn't. When he went like this, you slacked up. Well, and then he jumped, and I saw him spit it. That's exactly oh, what I wanted. Oh, he crushed it on the surface. Dang. Oh, oh, dude, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Dude, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen on a fluke. Here, bring him over here. Bring him over here. Dude, that's, Luke, you got to bring him over here. Dude, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen caught on a fluke right there. Get him. Get him, baby. Careful, careful. Yeah! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh! Look at that thing! Nice. That thing's massive, nice. dude! Holy crap! Next cat. Man! Guys, Love look crap. how big that fish is. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen caught on a fluke right there. Look at that fish. Jeez, show Shark. the belly. Show the belly. Thing is pre-spawning right there Female. crushed that fluke all the way up on the bank that is a chunk oh gosh that is a nice fish man. i wonder if it was just it was getting ready to go on a bed it probably was it was definitely pushing up because man that fish is full perfect hook set right in the guys roof. look how small the mouth is yeah. too this yeah, is a perfect example say. look how small the Tiny. mouth is but look how big the fish is like it's it's crazy always make sure they go head first when you're throwing head them off first the dock. Boom. Perfect. There it goes. That is nice. a little football right there. Man, just cast it all the way back there. There's so much more stuff on this pond that looks like it, but the only problem is we can't get to half this pond because we can't get it. I might have to drag out a John boat here. Let me know down in the comments if I should bring a John boat to this pond and fish it because I think if we bring one, we can get fish like that in a bunch of them. There's a snake. Looks about to get a snake here. Let's see. The snake wrangler? Oh, yeah. I thought he was a worm when I was walking back. It's a brown snake. All right, Luke, do your snake talk here. What kind of snake is this? <laughs> he just ran all the way from over there. All right, guys. 
this little brown snake it's a good thing we got him off the trail because some moron will probably say it's a water moccasin and cut its head off of the shovel so we probably saved them let's put him in a, a safer place let's get him back in the bushes over here yeah. little snake bye bye little snakey there he, goes. there he is so caught a couple bass and caught a snake today <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to a ton of amazing content coming your way and you're not going to miss it. Guys, we caught some massive fish today. Luke got that big one on the fluke. I've never seen a fish that big caught on a fluke, but I'm going to end it right here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see some more of these types of videos. But anyways, thanks for watching. See ya!